The left thinks it's dangerous to investigate Hunter Biden. Days after two IRS whistleblowers gave jaw-dropping testimony exposing how the Biden DOJ went easy on the first son's tax probe, Democrats and the media are teaming up to take them down. The circus has come to town with the House GOP. And what's dangerous about this is that the American people and their needs are not part of their agenda. And they want to focus on this political theater. Republicans are going to point to this continuously as a clear sign of wrongdoing or potential wrongdoing and use it to continue to bolster these investigations that we saw them do earlier this week with IRS so-called whistleblowers about Hunter Biden. We have all of these so-called whistleblowers who, again, admit the Trump Justice Department said, yeah, there's nothing there. Oh. So speaking of that testimony, tune into Special Report right after the five for an exclusive interview with IRS whistleblower Joseph Ziegler. Here he is responding to Democratic attacks. Several of the Democrats on the committee said these are just the kind of dust-ups that investigators and prosecutors have. You're not always going to be on the same page. Is that accurate? Criminal investigations, when you work a criminal case, there's a thing called willfulness. Whether someone intentionally, with knowledge, either evaded their income taxes or filed a false return. And that's what one thing that sets us apart from a civil case. And in this case, we provided a ton of evidence that showed willfulness. The Democrats are also really not going to like this. An unclassified FBI document released yesterday by Senator Grassley exposes an alleged bribery scheme involving both Joe and Hunter. The memo claims the then Vice President Biden and his son coerced the CEO of Burisma to pay them $10 million in exchange for help in getting the Ukrainian prosecutor investigating the company fired. The New York Post publishing this op-ed calling for a special counsel to investigate the allegations. So, Judge, it's interesting because you read through that FBI document that was released yesterday that was obtained by Grassley through a whistleblower because the FBI refused to turn it over for months on end. And it reads more like Joe was demanding payment mm -hmm. rather than Burisma offering Right. The interesting thing is the 1023 that you referred to that the FBI was reluctant to hand over. Initially, they said they didn't have it. Okay, so now Grassley releases it. We have a copy of the 1023. And the amazing part of it is Zlovchesky, who is the guy who was in Burisma, who's paying out the money. He says that the Bidens were paid through so many different <laughs> bank accounts, it would take investigators 10 years to unravel. OK, and now you've got Comer and the rest of them, and they say all this money, the 17 million and the 10 million, is from one bank. So we haven't seen all of it yet. And the amazing part of this is now we know, according to this verifiable FBI confidential informant who was paid upwards of $200,000 by the FBI because they believed in what he said, it was effective in prosecutions, he says there are up to 17 tapes. Two of those tapes include the voice of Joe Biden. And he talks about the fact that um, in Europe, this guy's love Chesky, hired someone to cover him in Europe. And in the United States, he hired Hunter Biden to protect us through his dad from all kinds of problems. And he says Hunter is so dumb that this guy's <laughs> dog is smarter than Hunter. And so you look at this and you say, and, and then you hear someone who just said, I saw it on the sound there, that this was during the Trump administration and um, that they didn't do anything with it. The truth is, or that they passed on it. Yeah, they said nothing. The truth is that they weren't aware of what was going on, that the FBI kept this close to their vest. They didn't investigate this, even though Bill Barr was the United States attorney. No one moved on this, which is why they were so willing to say, we don't have it. Yeah. But it's all here. It's everything that you need for a prosecution. So, Jessica, would you be open to a special counsel to look into this situation? Sure. If that's what ne what's necessary. They're like a dime a dozen now. Everyone's <laughs> got one. We put a special counsel on it. But you should also take these Republicans at their word, and they've been commenting on the contents of this 1023. So Chuck Grassley has said in interviews that the bribery allegation may not be true. Ron Johnson has said, take it with a grain of salt. Congressman Chuck Edwards, who seems like the only honest Republican on the Oversight Committee, said that President Biden hasn't been implicated. 
Then you look at someone like Jim Comer, who's <clears throat> on the most embarrassing press tour and should really stop doing interviews. He's on Ted Cruz's podcast today. And Ted Cruz says, you know, what's going on here? And he says, well, Biden's been selling access for dec decades. And Ted Cruz responsibly says, well, how do you know that? And Jim Comer says, if you study Joe Biden like I have, he's always been cash strapped. OK, well, that means that you took $10 million from Ukrainians. Also, this Victor Shokin uh, controversy about the Ukrainian prosecutor that was fired, this story has been gone over a million times. That prosecutor was removed by the entire Western community, by the prime minister of the UK, French, mm -hmm. Germans, the IMF, Senate Republicans supported removing him because the guy was not investigating corruption. It actually ended up hurting Burisma to remove Victor Shokin from his position. And I see you're snickering and you'll go next and I get it. <laughs> and I'll try to interrupt you and it probably won't be, uh, won't be allowed or you'll say you'll have I some- I haven't witty. interrupted you. I, I'm just previewing what will come. <laughs> you can't pre an interruption. Did you guys want to order did. the appetizers? Because we, I have to go work on my other table. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Well, yeah, listen, I don't want ass. a special counsel. I want impeachment proceedings. Oh. All right? Ooh. These people, they say this is political theater. They it's did two time. years on January 6 hearings, ignoring inflation and high crime. What? And then the guy says so-called whistleblowers. What's a so-called whistleblower? He means a whistleblower. And then they say Trump justice said nothing there. And there. No, they went in in May 2020. Barr looked at it, sent it to Delaware, where it died, where everything Sad. dies. And so you got a highly credible informant who's been with the FBI for decades. And he submits this report saying that this guy's bragging about having to bribe $10 million to the Biden family to get this prosecutor fired. And he's got 17 tapes. Joe's on two of them. Hunter's on 15 of them. And they say it's unverified. Yeah, you're right, Jessica. It is unverified. Let's go verify it. Let's investigate. Everything's unverified if it's a claim. They bet. took the dossier, an unverified dossier, used it to get a wiretap on the Trump campaign. They didn't say unverified. They just said this guy's dirty because he's Russian. That's bogus. Another thing. Joe Biden and all these guys got together in the West and said, yeah, we got to get rid of the prosecutor. Because everyone wants Joe Biden to be rich? No, because so. he had the Polish guy on the, on the chair of the board, too. They had you Americans, the Poles. You know how this works, so, Jessica. Greg, they get so defensive about this because if it were just Hunter Biden, they would let it go and let him go. But it gets too close to Joe Biden, which is why they get so I feel kind defensive. of bad for Hunter. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot. You know, he didn't have any idea that his dad was going to actually run for president. So he did his job, which was to get Joe rich. He made it rain, right? If he even thought 2016 was the last year, I'm going to make us some money. I'm going to be swimming in prostitutes and crack for the rest of my life. And then what happens? His dad becomes president, and then all of this stuff comes out. The problem is, there's so much stuff, right? There's a multitude of malfeasances, and it's all so complicated. My head hurts, and I think that when you're never going to have a good outcome if the thing you're yelling is 1023, because people at home are like, 1023? Is that a tax form? Do I, what, what, what month is this? So you have to, like, you have to prioritize these things. And one, you had the FBI slow walking the investigation into Hunter's taxes. You had the 1023. See, I just did that because I'm lazy. I didn't want to say the whole letter that say reveals. Say bribe document. Bribe that's, doc that's the better. bribe document. That's better. But the big deal, I think, out of this is F the FBI revealing that they knew the laptop was real the day the New York Post article came out, and they didn't fess up. They suggested otherwise. You had the, that letter. You had the public believing one thing that wasn't true. And, that's, and that, the irony of that is that's how you got President Biden. If that, if, that, if that had gone the way it should have, followed the truth, Trump would have won. And then we'd be talking about, of course, Trump's 15th impeachment yeah. instead of these hearings. All we want is the truth. There's <clears throat> yeah. oh, yeah. so much And I need a cough ask. drop. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.